Ako. All right, everybody, I'm here with RHS Esports Valorant Superstar, aka All Star. It's Mr. Bowie. Bowie, welcome and thank you so much for taking your time to talk with me. Hello, thank you so much for having me on here. My pleasure. pleasure. Absolutely, man. First, I do want to get into uh, All Stars. I'm peeking a, a Coke fridge behind us. Um, talk a little bit about your experiences with Stay Plugged In Coca Cola All Stars, uh, kind of the feelings that went through you as you were selected. Gotta rep the fridge a little bit. <laughs> It's really sick. Oh, uh, like being a Coca Cola All Star was just, it was a highlight. That's all I could really say. It was really surreal just being selected, like top like 20 Valorant players in the country. It was really like just incredible just to be among those people. Yeah, we've seen you pop off in the showcase plenty of times. Very, very clutch moments. And uh, and this time around, you got to showcase your individual skills with the skills challenges as well. So kind of intrigued, you know, how did you feel about the format of All-Stars as a whole? I thought All-Stars was really good. I thought it was like a really good way of showcasing like just the skills of the best high school players in the country. Uh, I was really was a little bummed in the skills showcase. I thought I could have definitely improved a little bit more but i'm still happy with the top four showcase but uh i was pretty much yeah i was just happy to be there happy to show off my skills to everyone absolutely let's get into the details a little bit more about your experience competing on all-star weekend you said you know you wish you had a better performance in the skills challenges but let's fast forward to the actual matches uh on that saturday it was um what were the vibes like in the comms right what were uh some of your teammates saying to you what were some of the things that you were able to experience with your team on all-star weekend I'd say like my team was uh definitely the most talented i Sorry, talented group of players that I've probably ever had, like on a team. It was really fun because we were all like hyperactive. Like we were all ready. The vibes were up the entire time. And it was just awesome because when we're playing, one of us will have a clutch here and there, and then we're all just losing our minds. It was almost as if we were teammates like the whole time, like for years and years. That's too cool. Uh, any future teams cooking? Because obviously you get to meet new players. You said it's like some of the most uh, large talent pool that you played with. So, uh, any maybe new teams that you might try out in an amateur slash pro scene? Right now, I'm still sticking with my uh, high school team, running it through like the high school esports league yeah. and some more carries to colleges. Sticking with Stay Plugged In for sure. I'm definitely venturing out more into like the tier three, tier two, tier three, tier two scene. And I'm hoping that uh, my actually Coca-Cola teammates, I'll be making a team with them, some a few of them. That's right. And I think you guys have a, an excellent chance. And I can see the improvements already since when you first started competing. And now with C2C, you're joining your high school team, like you mentioned, RHS Esports. Rascal, a part of that team, and also a stay plugged in Coca-Cola All-Star. Can you talk a little bit about how cool it was to have a teammate with you to experience that with you? Oh, it was beyond cool. It was like, wow, like... Even outside of Valerie, he's my best friend, like in real life at school. So it was just awesome knowing that me and my best friend are just a part of the best of the best in terms of Valorant high school players. Y'all have been come so close to uh, to taking a title within some of the showcases. But now, you know, you move into C2C, you you and Rascal both uh, being all-stars. Do you get a bit of height, heightened confidence now rolling into this C2C saying, hey, maybe we can take the championship title here this time around? Oh yeah, I would say confidence is definitely through the roof right now. Like after showing how we are worthy of being Coca-Cola all-stars, we obviously know that we're gonna, like we obviously know we're the best and we're gonna try and bring that into our gameplay this uh, C2C. Live of confidence in y'all for sure, and that makes a whole lot of sense. Um, So let's talk about, you know, after being selected, a first ever All-Star, by the way, first year that we've ran it. So you've really built a path forward for some of the others, you know, lower classmen or, or younger players in general. Um, you've really set the tone for years to come. What advice would you give those others that are going to follow in your footsteps to try and attempt to share the same experience and become an all-star advice i would give in order to pave the way to be an all-star is just follow the passion because i hop on every single day just wanting to play i never am like not wanting to play 
And yeah, make sure you stick with your team. Above all else, make make them your friends. Make them your best friends because I'm just really fortunate enough to have my teammates as my best friends. And it's just like a second family. So Too cool. keep playing. Yep. Keep playing. Be passionate. Make friends. There and it is. I'll get you there. The three-step process. You got to love it. And speaking of family and friends, um, you know, how did your support system react when you became an all-star? They were they obviously they're pretty excited for you, right? Yeah, I very fortunate to have parents who are really supportive of me. And when I was able to show them that I am one of the best of the best, like especially in high school, and I had some colleges that were like interested, like they were definitely very supportive of that. That's so cool. Were they there with you when you got to open your package, uh, including that that fridge that we see behind you? Yeah, my mom actually helped me open up this fridge, so it was really cool because she was like shocked with how like how many cool like items I got from it, especially. Love it. And so we mentioned obviously Rat School as a Coca Cola also that's competing with you in C2C, but there are others too. There's Sacred, there's River, oh my goodness, E7 Retro. Um, there are a handful of others too that I can't even think of uh, shorthand. I believe the total is now eight to 10 All-Stars. So if you see another All-Star that's across the lobby, right, that you're facing against, what's going through your mind if you run into them? I mean, the thing is like, there's gotta be that respect where you know that they're obviously good players. But at the same time, you got to have that confidence. Like, even though we're both Coco All-Stars, like, I'm going to win. Like, I'm not. That title will mean nothing in the game when I'm playing or, like, when he's playing. So it's just a confidence game. I'm going to treat him like any other player. Maybe respect. Definitely show more respect than, uh, than you would hope so, at least. Yeah, definitely. Last thing for you here, Bowie. Any shout outs? Who do you want to shout out here for, whether it's the All-Star experience, whether it's the upcoming C2C, um, or otherwise? I definitely shout out to my homie Rascal, always being there with me, and to my fellow RHS teammates. Shout out to Stay Plugged In for even just giving us this opportunity just to play. And I finally, shout out to my parents for always supporting me and stuff. Love it, Bowie. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you coming to talk with me.